hostile government and a hostile community. I would like to receive all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I express my thanks to all invitees, staff of the hostel, and particularly Sri Tipi Wala of Honorable Chief Secretary Government of Megara. Thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time to be with us and to grace this occasion with your kind presence. Here we have also with us our beloved guests from Wales, Sri Win Amish Toon and Master Kareem Roberts. Your presence with us today is a great support and inspiration to all of us. May God grant mercy journey back home to both of you tomorrow. Just a word, Dr. Ayat's foreign brother hostel has completed 100 years of its valuable service in healthcare. It is imperative to mention that its ministry still remain till then as beacon of hope to countless patients who are looking for for caring love during vulnerable times. This happened is because of God's faithfulness. The word of God says, For great is the love to us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. May God be with us during this cruising service for the celebration. We will sing the hymn number one, and after that, we I call Reverend Ayyipa for Bible reading and prayer. To play the Kapura, it can go the day.
Before we look to the prayer, let us hear a word of God. Take it from the first part of the Indian Synod, chapter 2, verse 17, and also from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 5, verses from 5 for the Wednesday. I shall have been nice to play it in wine, to me such for it in bread and things of wood. Gula Hashem Apostol John Marcos Nong Bahar Rukhat Okanyo Kumju Kumtoskal Kajawam Kumjenes Nong Basan Tepak Nong Basan Kutil Jomlai Hedin Banta Kuhamunya Tehwa Jisu Yosem Ulaong Nanti Iba Kya Himlan Kam Yaukum Kya Henrei Iba Pangkain
Kunjur kecintaan Tuhan, Yeme, Utrai, Jangkang, Tapi Tuhan, Utrai kita, Aku yang menayak, Ya, itu baru, Itu kan, Ya, kaju, Ya, itu semar, Lembaga yang kasus setelah Utrai kita, Di bagian, Mentara, Kepasuan, Dan isu, Kepuan, Dan kesalahan, Ini, Yo, Ia, Utrai kita, Ya, kurang, Reverend Dilby Marvin, 
the moral code is Christian and sent me, and Reverend Sia the moral code is Christian and Bibi, who have graciously accepted our invitation to deliver the speeches. Welcome, pastors. I also extend the warm welcome to Reverend Akar of Sandia, the Defectory of the Hasidian Chapter Secret Sunday. We feel honored to have you deliver the code of thanks on this occasion. Thank you. Welcome, Pastor. Today we are also privileged to have Reverend Dr. Uh, Reverend D. Rumbai, the ex monitor of the Asian Assembly, who have accepted our invitation to join us today and impart the program to pronounce the benediction. Welcome, Pastor. A very hearty welcome to Church Elder President Son F. G. Myron, the organizing secretary of the Century Federation, without whose guidance and initiative this event would have not been possible. Welcome to the Muslim. We are immensely proud to have with us the DPUAN IAS, the Chief Secretary to the Government of Nagaya. On this momentous occasion, sir, your presence here today on the source that are being attached to the legacy we have inherited from our dear missionaries. Welcome to the Today is a day of celebration for our institution to honor our history and traditions while glimpsing at the future with confidence and hope. I stand here experiencing a surge of emotions hitting me for the unwavering and continued support of the Presbyterian Church of Wales and I extend my heartiest welcome to Brent Andrew Jones and his son in law, Garrett Roberts. We are thrilled and feel blessed to have you all share this momentous occasion with us. It is also my pleasure to welcome Dr. Arnold, the medical superintendent, whose valuable contribution to the hospital has made this day and did it possible. And with a heart full of gratitude for those who, in the intervening decades, have worked to fulfill the dreams of our beloved missionaries and to pass down the legacy to all of us, I also would like to extend my warmest welcome to the former medical superintendents, the reactive officers, the nursing superintendents of the hospital. The positive influence and support, steadfast contribution of the members of the formal and present hospital government board, the executive committee, the central Federation committee, and the various subcommittees cannot be denied. My very special welcome goes to each one of you. I am glad to respectfully and cordially welcome Reverend Dr. Robert Andrew, the President of the United Bible Societies. We miss having you to take part in the program. The Archbishop of the Catholic Church, the Archbishop of the Church of North India, the President of the Church of God, Nehemiah and Azam, President of the Church of God, Nehemiah, the President of the Baptist Church, Shalom, representatives of the Christian Medical Association of India, CMI, we feel honored by your sense. It is a special pleasure to heartily welcome the Advocate Factory of the Christian Church of India. All the pastors, Kinnanda's and church elders, representatives of JSNDK, Jesus and Sanda, under the KGPA, and representatives of the Catholic Society of Christian and Dear World Union, your presence has grown to your vision. On this momentous occasion, as we share the love of God through music, so that we can praise the Lord and give Him glory, I welcome members of the Dr. H. Gordon Robert Hostel Choir, under the leadership of Reverend Terence Warshaw. Members of the KGP Sinat Nihi, KGP Sinat Sakni, Standing Choirs, and the JR Presbyterian Church Choir, a warm welcome to you, each one of you. We have been overwhelmed by the continuous support we have received so far from Mr. Paul Lindor, the other day, and the Minister of the Government of Benalia, Mr. Adel Bhatnamu, the other day, Mr. Charles Marner, and I am glad to extend my warm welcome to each one of you on this memorable occasion. The continued support of the Anderson family is crucial to the operation of the hospital in many ways. I extend my warm welcome to each one of you present here today. Sharing the vision and nurturing our future and supporting us in translating our dreams into a reality. I extend a warm welcome to all the donors, architects, engineers, contractors, sponsoring organizations of the hospital. In our midst today, we have the contributors of various articles, advertisements, donors, and well wishes to 
interested in the publication of the Century Magazine on this historical event, I am pleased to welcome Ishwaraki. There are many people who play a crucial role to enable this cultural of feeling stand in it as it is today. Kindness and permit me to mention everyone by name. However, it is my bounden duty to welcome the doctors, nursing superintendent, the nurses, paramedical staff, super services staff, the hospital chaplain, principal college of nursing, the teaching and teaching staff, the students of the, the students of the college of nursing, the staff of the rural health centers, forefront like Moshe, Hansley and Maria, along with the dear and dear, uh, dear, dear and dear ones, invite each present here to join the celebration to welcome you all. While acknowledging the presence of Chancellor and Vice Chancellor of the Martin Luther Christian University, the principal, vice principal and coordinator, internal quality assurance cell of the senior college, the principal, vice principal Nagam College, principal JRBC, principal chair of teacher training center and the principal Thomas Jones School of Mission, I offer each one of you a warm welcome. It is also my pleasure to welcome our supports behind the scenes. Members of the Assembly of the Pastor, KG Krishnan Sethi, the officials and staff of various departments of the state government, the district administration, the police department, the Rangwashnam of Jaya Lansri, Jaya Raikdom, Jaya Opa Lansanami, Jaya Teng, Jaya Ushya, Rungkala, representatives of Jensanga and Secretary of Jaya Lansri, members of the Jaya Presbyterian Church, media, print and electronic, in town solutions, the representatives of the Nagaya Farmers and Co op Mission and also of the NBECL French United. It is an honor to be graced by the presence of such an accomplished personalities with us today. Before I issue my seat, I would like to say that we are all proud to be associated with an institution that has withstood the test of time to stand tall for 100 years. Let us try to every night to uphold the values, ethics, and tradition that our forerunners stood for. At the time of establishing this institution. Once again, I extend my warm welcome to one and all. Thank you, Kubish, for God bless. Members. 
guidance to bring us all together on this holy sanctuary to worship and be part of this closing function of the centenary celebrations of the Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital. First and foremost, from the common side, thank you to the hospital. Thank you to the hospital board for being the torch bearer and also the beacon of hopes for health services provided for the past 100 years and specifically during the period that we had undergone major challenges in 2020 during COVID. The services we rendered in the time was unforgettable and we want to bless all those who were involved. On 25th March 1922, the opening ceremony of this grand hospital took place. On 25th March 1922. The construction had started in 1915, to be more specific, on the 21st of January 2015, which coincides with the Gala Day if we talk about it today. And at noon, exactly at 12 o'clock on 25th of March, the following hymn was sung. O Rao through suffering perfect day, on whom the bitter cross was laid, in hour of sickness, grief and pain, no sufferer turns to thee in vain, which epitomizes the overall objective of setting up the hospital and the services given to all the local people and period of time. With just over a lakh of rupees, the hospital started functioning amid all the challenges. Rupees 70,000 only was spent <laughs> for the main building of the hospital. And Dr. X. Gordon Douglas was the medical officer in charge, and Miss Margaret Buckley was the sister in charge. The first month of the hospital when it was operating, and subsequently a few years thereafter, the total operating cost of the hospital was only 66 pounds per month, which comes to approximately about 7,000 rupees per month. The initiative came about with great challenges, like today, doctors were not available and those qualified. The hospital could not afford to pay them. Nursing care was a huge challenge at that point of time, as it is even now, 100 years hence. But the energetic Miss Buckley took upon herself to build up a very strong nursing cabinet. She was a workaholic and never stopped working. In fact, I have been told that even the uh, management committee who sat in Wales at point of time took a decision to ask her to take leave. That was her commitment. She was one of the first to be operated in the hospital because of her hard work she developed appendicitis and she was the first one to be operated to have her appendix removed before the commissioning of the hospital here and she was the one who went and prepared the operating table herself. She prepared the operating table herself and Dr. Scott and one doctor of Jawai came on horseback for anesthesia. So that was her commitment and within a week she was back at work. There are a few lessons for all of us to be learned from all this. When Dr. Gordon Roberts set up this hospital, there were huge issues, challenges. It was a barren hill over here in Jaya. And one of the principles that set upon the work was self sufficiency. We should be self sufficient and we need to be self sufficient in whatever we do. And to start, you need a nurse, you need doctors, yes, you need nurses. But more than that, to run a hospital, you need technical hands. Where will you get engineers in 1922? Where will you get technical people in 1922? It was impossible. And for any maintenance work, they had to call people all the way from Calcutta, which will entail the job.
journey of a week just to come for maintenance work which could take maybe half an hour, which could take maybe a couple of hours or maybe a day. So it was very, very challenging. But Dr. Hughes, uh, Dr. Uh, Roberts, at a point of time, found that the local Khasis uh, were very good with their hands and they were very good in technical, they had a technical ability. Therefore, he identified one Elvin Gakkor who did wonders work in the piping system of the hospital there. The piping for both steam as well as water. He was a giant as far as technical function is concerned and I think without him, it would have been impossible for them to run this hospital. It's just not, it's just not medical care, parent care, it's the management of the hospital which was very important. Everyone could also set up the electric cable, the switch here, and that saved a lot of time for people to come all the way from Canada and therefore made the functioning of the hospital more smooth and more seamless. His work in life was, why not? We will try. So it was very good as a set of his hands, and not only that, they produce electricity locally here in the hospital. They produce, they have water, they have steam, and at that point of time, they even develop an X ray which was made here locally in the hospital campus. It was very, very beautiful. They casted metals, they fabricated equipment on their own without any formal training. So it was very interesting at the point of time, you can well imagine there was no development, nothing much, but the coming together and the teamwork and the leadership provided by Dr. Roberts at a point of time made sure that everything fructified. More interestingly, I'm sorry, kindly indulge me with a little more time because these slippers are important to share, especially with the future generation, the young doctors, the nurses. As surgical work started and became more and more complicated and complex, they even manufactured oxygen on their own in this hospital. It was unthinkable at the point of time nearly 90 years back when we manufactured oxygen. We struggled with oxygen in 2020. Not only here, all over the country, all over the world. But we manufactured oxygen on our own by obtaining electrolyte cell through low voltage current. And the oxygen release of water, oxygen was released, hydrogen was released, they captured the oxygen in a gasoline. And the piping work which was done at a point of time to the walls as well as to the operation theater was utilized for these complex, more complex operations. In fact, oxygen concentrators were made since then and cylinders were produced and also used right from the point of time. It took three months to get oxygen cylinders from Canada and North Canada. There was no Guwahati. There was no Sam. We were part of Sam then. And they had to get all the way across the now Bangladesh to Calcutta and it took three months to get one cylinder. But they produced locally with the help of these local technicians. Another innovation at the point of time was the boiler, the steam kitchen. The boiler in fact was a very huge and remarkable landmark of Shillong City. Steam laundry to ensure clean linen. You can also see they are all spick and span in white uniforms. And also, the electricity was produced through a steam driven generator. This provided relief when the power shutdown was there, which plunged the whole town into darkness except the hospital compound. So, these uh, people who were behind the scenes were equally responsible with all the contributions they made over a period of time. So, as you can follow, the challenges were endless. We should be grateful and thank God for producing luminaries like Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, Dr. R.A. Hughes, Sister Mary, Margaret Buckley, Ms. Evans, who came and served the local people of the region. Local champions were there, like Dr. Rin Nyoka, the hands on man at the works, as I mentioned, but and hundred others who contributed, it would be great justice to 
many as I am unable to name each and every one in the paucity of time. But as a little career, even my mother also served as a nursing sister in this hospital for close to 40 years. And one thing I learned from her was that leave was not a word found in her dictionary. She never could leave. I don't remember even once. The second point that we need to learn apart from self-sufficiency is working together in partnership. The financial contribution of this building came both from the government, from the missionaries, as well as from the people. It's a combined contribution of all for building, for the plant, and for machinery. Interestingly, in the beginning, even the civil surgeon who was a medical doctor from the wrong side used to come and give me in the hospital. Whenever Dr. Roberts go on leave to Wales or on a long follow, the civil surgeon would come and review and work in the hospital. It was very interesting. It's a working together relationship that I've come for. We are talking about public partner public private partnership now. It happened 100 years back in this hospital. Looking forward for working together and contributing to a common cause now to eradicate illness, disease and any malady of any man. The hospital needs to update its plan, its machinery, its building and I'm sure that we will work together from the government side to ensure fructification of all the plants. In conclusion, let us all pray for the hospital so that God gives counsel and wisdom to those who administer at both the policy and the operational level. Let us pray for the church so that it may give and spread the word of love and teach us to live in peace and harmony without any evil, hatred, and animosity. Let us pray for the government, for those who are in the driving seat, for entering the daily process of governance, for ensuring sagacious wisdom for clean and effective government. Psalm 91 verse 10 and 11 says, There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge for thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Let us start today with a new attitude and plenty of gratitude for what God has given us. For his glory for God. Uh, the 
all doctors, nurses, staff, and workers in this hospital, and all the fire for the work, welfare of this time. We will do their best. I, as we have done in the previous years, for the glory of God and the hospital. Only this job which I have, may precious God bless the hospital and the God has forgotten to know us. Thank you. Please.
كيف ما نقول لك الصورة؟ فشل واحد في واحد، أنا نفس الصورة في واحد. ما درناهم، هكون بريكا بور، جاك بريكا سيلبريشن. نسوي لهم أمور كثير، نجي نجيب لهم حصان، نسبق حفران، نركب أبصار. كان يقول بس في أوبران بالأوبران. ينشأ كلام، ينسى من المكان. On the book of Psalm 118, verse 34, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. When you come to see, you need to do for me. I'm going to bomb this is all your way. Now you have many good missions to have done with the day of the You saw a kid run. You get a doctor. Jadi kalau kita nusa nam, hari tak siap, jaga bahang dia cuni, kalau mai pan, kalau mai putih, dia kerja kalau kerja dia, kalau dia kerja cuni. Kita dah umur dia si, dia belajar kerja kerja Islam ini. Dia suruh dia naik ke lay, apa kita nak mahu jadi kerja kerja Islam ni? Bagi dia susah kita.
at least the survey of the student institution of Dr. H. Kanadabha Hospital in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Sister P. Pasteyman Pasteyman. Sister Lucky Marpa, Principal College of Nursing.
They serve sacrificially, not with a motive for self gain, but to ensure that the love of Jesus Christ is manifested in their works. I am certain that thousands of souls came to know in our Lord Jesus Christ through the total commitment and dedication of all who served at Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital over the years. It includes unsung heroes who played their part well. It includes those who gave sacrifice when the hospital was hurting and in dire need. Speaking about pioneering, speaking about the pioneering efforts of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts, what message do we take home? To our children and peers, it is love in action. A man who gave away all his precious earnings to start the hospital. Someone remarked, no sacrifice, no mission. And I fully endorse that statement. The Pressure Club of Healers Dining Space of Healing has a lot to learn from this pioneering doctor who enriched it and encourages who courageously took the first step of it. All of us who claim to be active supporters also need to consider that what the Lord's Hospital will look like in an exuberant years, per chance, the Lord is still in existence. What we do today will resonate in the future. The Word of God teaches whoever sows generously will also reap generously. You may wonder what makes Robert Hospital alive and why can even after a hundred years? The answer is simple. Those who refuse to accept defeat, those who prayed and went for its swelling before the break of God, those gave and gave and gave till they could give no more. These are the heroes of faith. They are the reason Robert's hospital is still standing tall today. We live in an age of materialism and consumerism, an age where money costs. But let us not forget that the said God who owns the entire universe. And nothing is impossible with him. There is a famous quote which says, God's work that done in God's way shall never lack God's supply. Let us draw inspiration from men and women of God who demonstrated this truth in their work. Our former president, the late Dr. A.P.J. A.P.J. Abdul Ghulam once said, and I quote, to succeed in our mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Dr. Roberts will be what we want it to be. As we embark on the first step of the new century, let us be firm and resolute in what we seek to attain. Starting to be the family of Dr. H. Robert Roberts Hospital, the Cassidy Christian Assembly, and all the consequent churches will say in unison, we will do better by the grace of God. On that note, and on behalf of the Christian Christian Assembly, I convey my best wishes and prayers for Dr. H. Robert's Hospital. Let us not become very good, for at the proper time we will reap the harvest if we do not give up. May the good Lord bless Dr. H. 
believer, make care of heaven and earth. And we give us all good gifts and blessings. We are here to meet a humble offering. And we beseech you to graciously accept our friends and grant that they may be utilized for caring the sick, the needy, and for the welfare of your church and extension of the kingdom here on earth. Gracious God, and all of us to know you more closely, to love you more dearly, to serve you devotedly, and to pray ceaselessly, to give cheerfully, to labor tirelessly. Glory and majesty, dominion and power be to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
milestone in the our journey. Thank you for your presence, uh, Queen Jones, Edgar Jones, and your son-in-law, and your valuable time. Kindly continue to pray for the KGP Assembly, the hospital, and also we will pray for you. That God will continue to bless you in your service. I 
I invite Reverend Dr. Rutuladin Nima, Senior Administrative Skeptic and as a big person in India to kindly take your part, Thanksgiving and in the Asia. Continue to 
one with them so that they continue to have interaction with you and get the knowledge and the wisdom they need from you. By this time, we pray that this hospital will continue to be the healing center where people can see the body of Christ, the flesh of Christ to the dedication and the service render to the people to the hospital ministry. Today we pray and give you thanks for all this. Continue to walk with all the stars and the people who are related to this hospital. So that people will see the real face of Jesus, the healer, who was the healer when he came to the world, and who continued to be the healer even now to his people. Continue to bless this hospital to be like that. We pray all these things in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
की लोक सेवा एक एक योगी के लोक में इस सामना के बाद नौ सिंहान मानव कोर नगर बेटा का हॉस्पिटल के बाद एक तीन बस पर जो भी के लोग लोग जिक्र को कोट रहा बाद में तो मैं अपने नगर ये ये के के नगर ये नौ नगर के बाद हॉस्पिटल पर जिस उनको लोग लोग नगर बेटा के स्टाफ पर स्टूडेंट्स all staff and students college of nursing, Dr. S. Corbett Rowan Hospital, all staff of the Dr. S. Corbett Rowan Hospital, but Kunju Kajisumu Kokar Pangarong, Nagarutai Kumbasan KK Mawa, Ivalo Chief Engineer PWD Road, for improvement and black doping, etc. of the road leading towards MS Quarta at the campus and, his, and for his completion on, on, on time. On behalf of the Dr. Eskran Brahman's Hospital, I am standing here to offer my word of thanks to all our esteemed and beloved guests and representatives from the Church of Wales, Mr. Queen Andrew Jones and Mr. Gary Roberts, who are present with us here. I am very much impress and believe that your coming here is a godsend. I really appreciate the presidential of Wales for sending both of you. I do believe and hope that this is a God's plan because you are the living witness to the works that your fathers and forefathers have done in this land. Because there are very few who are still, who are still living today. Furthermore, Mr. Quinn, you have the heart towards our hospitals, both in Dubai and in Shalom, and the acts of kindness and support towards our hospital. It is very appropriate that you share in our rejoicing in this August occasion. I have been hoping that this Spirit that is in you will transcend into your son in law. And the bond that we are having with you will flourish and even more and better from your heart. As you are going back from here, please bring our loving greetings and the message that we as the hospital still remember you with love and fun. And we, will, we promise that the legacy that you have handed over to us will be kept alive and warning even in the hundred years to come. With God's help, we know that we will be doing better even in the years to come. So, Mr. Quinn and the Jones and Mr. Garrett Roberts, we pray that and we wish that you will go from here with God's jolly mercy on your jolly back room and in good health and God's willing a long life. May God bless you. 
and the Christian Church in Wales. Can you, but it in my for me and me, let them call me to school, come on, throw it, you know, I'm not here. We should talk about what I'm here. I don't get close attachment, but the hospital is not going to be born, but I'm sure I have. The issue of the law is very appropriate for me to look at the celebration happening about that man. As already stated up here, I would once again remind the office bearers of the KDP Assembly, members of the Hospital and Governing Board, members of the Central Resolution Committee, members of the Subcommittee, -sub -committee, members of the Executive Committee of the Hospital, members of the Organizing Committee, Charitable Football Friday March, GSN is a lot of pastor. KDP students, we find them contributors to the Sunday and friends who has given their advertisement can be stay back after the service. We would like to hand over a complimentary copy to you. Uh, members of the press, print and electronic are requested to kindly meet the organizing schedule. Can you beat me uh, for updating the changes that have taken place before circulating in the news in the public domain? With the release of the centenary souvenir, the same will be sold at the veranda of the church and thereafter within the hospital campus, immediately after this service. We hope that each one of you can get a copy of the summary. The printing cost of the summary is 450, but we have decided to sell it at a subsidized rate of rupees 200 only part of B. Why Zoom's conveniences are available behind this platform and upstairs for our esteemed invitees sitting on the pulpit and the platform. We may also utilize the facilities at the ground floor of the church and at the parking lot behind this church building in the hospital campus. Volunteers and measures, both from the hospital and the jail Presbyterian church, are requested to step back and rearrange the chairs, the table, etc. here within the church, of course, after we have taken your lunch. Last but not the least, please do not go back without having a lunch. 
we have prepared a special lunch for each one of you, our esteemed guests. So, we, the arrangement is the guests sitting on the pulpit and on the platform, and all other invitees sitting in this church can proceed to the Margaret E. Buckley Memorial Hall and Pandal for lunch. When you reach the hospital main gate, please go to the left. I repeat, when you reach the hospital main gate, please go to the left, left extreme left, leading to the Margaret E. Buckley Hall. Others invitees that is the choirs, the donors to the centenary celebration, retired nursing superintendent, deputy nursing superintendent, all staff of the Dr. Iskor Roberts Hospital and their family members, and all staff and students College of Nursing are requested to have a lunch at College of Nursing Hall and Pandal. You can reach the nursing hall and panel by entering through the OPD gate via the canteen of the hospital and go down the steps to the College of Nursing Hall and Pandal. Thank you. Celebration. Thus far has the Lord helped us. As we close our celebration and lowering the century flag, and as we continue our journey from now onward, may God's abundant blessing enable the hostel to be more effective in the years to come. I announce closing 
of the celebration. To God be the glory. We will remember, we will remember the works of your hands. We will stop and give you praise for great is thy Ini lagi sarang pelajar di bawah 